la casaron. Bien dia. From Santa Rosa, or good morning from Santa Rosa. We took the uh, bus today from our hotel, or we went to go take the bus today from our hotel, but we missed the bus by about 10 minutes. So we decided to just jump in a taxi. A bus would have probably cost us $5 uh, for both of us to get here. Taxi 10. Um, but we did learn a little bit more about the bus times and how to look them up online. Um, so just learning. Today we have a three mile hike and it is going to be to a waterfall. And the approach trail here is 700 meters. I'll let you see some of the beautiful views right here. Whew. Mountain valleys. Sun's rising. I personally would put one foot on the other one, squat down the other way, but... Oh man. Sorry. I'll try not to mansplain how to cross the river to you. Sorry. I have forgotten myself. <laughs> In today's modern age of women. Quite different the path that you choose. Yes. That's why men and women are different. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> how dare you! Insert Greta Thurmberg. How dare you! morning and what a beautiful day we are so blessed to be able to be out here on this hike uh, it is like cool and crisp and shaded and we have made it let me show you La Cascada <gasps> there it is La Cascada In Santa Rosa de Cal Cal Camachita, something Santa Rosa. There's a lot of Santa Rosas here in yeah. Argentina. Yeah. Um, but this one has a waterfall. Cascada. Cascada.
try this with my vlogging camera, but if you can see off in the distance there, it's like you have one mountain range that's high. And then behind it, there's another mountain range. So yeah, if you look off into the distance, hopefully it'll work on this vlogging camera. You can see one mountain range, but then behind it is a really tall mountain range. It almost looks misty from here. Hopefully it'll come through on the camera because that's an absolutely stunning view of the Argentinian landscape in this valley. Wow, I mean, that's pretty neat the way it, those are tall mountains. That was an awesome two mile hike we did up to the waterfall, very pretty. It's a little warm, even though it's uh, actually just summer down here. But anyway, this place behind me has some disco balls. So I'm pretty sure this location is probably a pretty happening spot in the actual on season when people are here. But you can also see behind me up on the hill is a, uh, they have a cafe and a bar and another place for drinks and stuff like that. So, wow. Must be a pretty cool place when there's lots of people. Anyway, we have about a 700 meter trek back to the road on top of all this. At least it'll be downhill this time. And then we're gonna decide whether we're gonna eat in this town or we're gonna go back to General Belgrande. We don't know. It all depends on our buses. Our buses don't come until I don't know, 4 o'clock or something like that. 1.30. 1.30 bus. 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock. So yeah. 5.30 bus. We gotta find out which bus to take. It's always an adventure trying to find things logistically around here. So we just happened to walk into this place, but look at this. Vodka gummy bears. This. Is this is definitely what we need after a two mile hike, which is probably more like three miles because we had to walk to and from bus stations, but frozen gummy bears, tray bien. Tomatoes, oregano, I think that's mozzarella cheese. Oh, perfecto.